Hello students, this is Dr. Satish Singhal, PhD, Professor of Computer Science at El Camino College in California. I'm back with my third video of introduction to linked list. In first video we gave the general introduction, in second one we showed how the copy function that is called from inside copy constructor and assignment operator works. Today in this third video we are going to show you how the destroy function which deallocates the memory for the linked list uh, works. Okay, first of all I want to show the code again. Let's go to X, uh, code blocks uh, since I don't have Visual Studio on this one nevertheless it's the same thing. So notice that if we look at the assignment operator which is right here, <clears throat> assignment operator should be making a deep copy of the linked list from source to destination if you have an assignment operator, source is always on the right hand side of the assignment operator. Destination is always on the left hand side of the assignment operator. Okay. So assignment operator is used when both source link list and destination link list have already been built, but you want to make a deep copy from the source to destination. Okay? So you want to make a deep copy of already built link list which is on the right hand side of the assignment operator into an already built link list which is on the left hand side of the assignment operator. And assignment operator should make a deep copy. So because a code like this will be used, just let me use the comment uh, to show you where assignment, in which situation assignment operator will be used. Uh, it'll be something like this. That you'll have one link list. Let's say IL1 and imagine some data has been put into that then you have another linked list and I realize that comments in code block come out in these faded font so maybe I'll just temporarily do this not really having the comment block and then you say okay so this is built already this is built already and data has been put in and then you say IL2 equal to IL1. When this happens, the assignment operator is automatically invoked. Okay? I'm going to delete all this code to get back to the normal code. In fact, actually, probably I won't save the file. Okay, don't do this one. All right. Okay. So then when assignment operator is called to copy from source to destination, this code here is executed. Okay. So if self assignment is not being done, then we need to destroy the current link list already built in the object on the left hand side of the assignment operator which in this case will be this object or current object then we copy function copies other will be in this case the source so copy from source to the destination and then we return a pointer to the built current object not the pointer but the dereference value of this which is actually built current object okay 
So in video 2, we had already shown you how the copy function works. In this video, we are going to show you how the destroy function works. In addition, it's important to know that uh, the destructor will also call the destroy function because it deallocates de the memory that was allocated either by the constructor or later by insert function that inserts nodes into the linked list. Okay, so on to the destroy function. This is the code for destroy function. And we can eyeball the code. We really can do more than that right now. But basically, we assign a temporary pointer called current. We store into that the address that is stored in the head pointer. Head pointer points to the dummy node in the list. So let's now code walk through this. <clears throat> this shows the current linked list. The head pointer stores the address of the dummy node. Address here is 1000 that's stored in the head pointer. And then, <clears throat> next field of the first node, head node, stores the address of the first linked list member. Okay, looks like my frame is small so part of the picture here might be missing for a while but I don't think that's a major limitation because you can already see it <coughs> alright so second node third node fourth node fifth node alright so that's the current state of the linked list okay as soon as we assign it this temporary pointer called current to store same address that is stored in the head. So current will look like this, will point to the first node or a head node. <clears throat> then we are, sorry, testing this loop condition that current, if current is not null PTR, then condition will be true. So current not null PTR because current is here and again part of my video is not showing so I'm just gonna go a little bit like this okay so let's see yeah I'm having this okay I'm just gonna come out of that mode and show you in this mode actually so you see everything now so <clears throat> current stored address of 1000 because it's point, pointing to the first node, stores the same thing as head node does, and current is not null PTR, so we'll execute the loop condition. So node save, we are making also have the same address as current does. So current is 1000, save is 1000, storing. So all three pointers are pointing to the first node right now. That may look a little weird, but that's perfect in all. <clears throat> All right. Now, next item to execute will be this one: current equal to current arrow next, which means we just move current pointer to this next node, and that is shown uh, here. Right there. So we just moved current to store uh, current arrow next. Current arrow next is this no, uh, this pointer here. When it has the address of 2000, it has to make a linkage here to this li this node, and then that linkage is shown. Actually, yeah. All right. Then now we have a handle on this node because we saved it into this pointer called save. Okay. So if I say delete save, that's gonna deallocate the memory here, okay, and so delete say when this piece of line of code is executed, this node will be deallocated or gone, and we saw that here, okay, so 
pay attention to how one node was deallocated or deleted. The loop helps us process rest of them exactly the same way. Okay, so now we go back to the top of the loop. And we check the loop condition again. So current is right now storing 2000. That's not null. So I make save point to where current is pointing to, which means I store 2000 in save. Save points to this node now. <clears throat> and then I readjust the current again to the next node in the list. So current equal to current arrow next simply means is stored into current what is stored into the next member of the node where current is pointing to. So if you know the previous slide, current node pointing to 2000, next field where current is pointing to has 3000, meaning of current equal to current arrow next is that store into current this value 3000 and when that happens current is pointing to this node here and we have the save now available to delete this node so you understand the process now in each loop iteration we are storing into the node pointer called save the node to which current uh, pointer is pointing to and then we move the current pointer to next node and we delete the previous one. So that's pretty much what we're doing actually. So now we can delete the save, delete the node where save is pointing to. So this node is gone. So now we are left with three. So once again current does not have null pointer in it, rather it has 3000. So current not equal to null PTR is true. So once again we store into the save which is not done yet now it is done into the save where current is pointing to so now we have a pointer to this node so we can move the current to the next node and we do that current points to now here and now we have basis to delete this one using the pointer save so if I say delete save now this node will be deallocated, removed, and that one is gone. Okay. And once again, current is 4000, which is not a null PTR. So once again, I enter the loop here. And once again, I make the save point to where current is pointing to this piece of code here. Move the current to the next node which is 5000 and now I got a handle on this one through the pointer save so I delete that one gone and then it still current does not have null PTR in it we enter the loop one more time and we store into save what same address that current has so save points to this node move the current to current arrow next which means current will then store null or null PTR and now I can delete the save and my linked list is gone okay so that's the mechanism for destroy function which is called from inside the assignment operator to delete the memory allocated in the left side of the assignment operator and also called from inside the uh, destructor of the linked list class and once again this is Dr. Satish Singh uh, PhD Professor of Computer Science El Camino College thanking you for watching this and soon I'll see you in future videos thanks a lot and have a wonderful day bye